Saturday, July 4th, 2020. This is trail day number 23. Uh, getting the late start as usual. It's about 10.30. Uh, about got everything packed up. We stayed at the Windsor Furnace Shelter, which is back that way, just a little way. Uh, and then the water source for... I say we, I'm, I'm hiking with somebody else, but like, basically just camping with them. They leave earlier, do their hike during the day, and then we meet up at night. Uh, so this was the camp spot. I had my hammock between those two trees. I've already taken everything down but the tarp. So be packed up, ready to go here in just a few minutes. And it's looking like a nice sunny day, so should get some awesome views from the pinnacle. Uh, my ankle's feeling good this morning, the zero day in Port Clinton, and then the short six mile day yesterday I think helped. But we'll see once we get to pack on and start climbing a hill. So but I think it's getting better. Uh, it just had to get used to those rocks uh, and that twisting funny and all that stuff. So I think we'll be good to go. Uh, just keep taking it slow for a few more days and then start picking up the pace. Uh, right now my average overall for the days is right at 10 miles per day. So it's, it's not bad for the first couple of weeks. And yeah, so we'll get started here shortly. So as a side note, uh, the shelters are right back there. There is no privy here. I'm assuming this used to be the privy, just before you get to the shelter. But it looks like they're building a new one. So, with the ATC giving the green line for trail crews and stuff to get back out, <coughs> probably later, summer 2020, there'll be a privy here at the Windsor Furnace Shelter. So it's 11.15. Almost back up to the trail. This shelter is not very far from the trail. And a half a mile, I'll hit the 200 mile mark. So, I have less than 2,000 miles to go. And I suspect the southern half will go on a foot back down to Harper's Ferry. I suspect it'll go uh, a little faster than northern section but I'm in no hurry I'm trying to enjoy the most of it <clears throat> there's a, a lot of people started in Georgia that are getting this close they've been doing those big miles and now they're slowing it down because they don't want it to end so, I'm just taking it slow from the start. <laughs> Pulpit Rock and the Pinnacle. And there's just a, a small hill climb, about half of what we did yesterday. So, shouldn't be bad. Maybe super rocky, wouldn't be surprised. but. We'll get through it. So we made it up that little hill. Uh, it was gradual, wasn't really steep. The trail's nice. You can tell anywhere it is frequented regularly by a bunch of day hikers. They keep the trail nice and wide. I had a big group of day hikers go by. Uh, Uh, it's kind of funny, like, the first day I started, uh, or within the first couple of days, people would be like, you through hiking? I'm like, yeah, and like, where'd you start? Like, Harper's Ferry. And, you know, it'd just be like 20 miles or something. And they'd kind of look at you like, oh, well, good luck. But, once you hit over the 100 mile mark, and now over 200 miles, People seem to be more like, 
I don't know. I think he'll make it, you know. The ankle's feeling this this better. There's still just a slight little bit of tenderness. Uh but it's tolerable. There's a as long as I don't end up twisting it funny or something on a rock, I think we'll be good. I don't have the sharp pains, you know, step on a rock or something like I did, so I think we'll be good to go. It's hot and humid. I wanted to leave camp by about 8. But I didn't get up till eight. For whatever reason, I was restless last night. Would go to sleep, start to doze off, and wake back up. So I got up at five, and the sun was just starting to brighten things up. And I laid back down. I figured I'd just lay there for 10, 15 minutes and get up. I went back to sleep. Oh well, I kind of figure if I sleep, the body needs to sleep. So I guess I also got a, a an official trail name. Uh, the lady started calling me Red Beard, and it just <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, a lady named. Mama Bear started calling me Red Beard, and now everybody else calls me Red Beard. So I guess that's my trail name, Red Beard. It won't apply too much one day. I'll be all gray beard, but we'll go forward with it for now, I guess. So that was the pull pit rock in the astrological observatory. Fairly busy up there today. Uh, the pinnacle should be nice views as well. And that's where we're headed to now. I think we have all of our uphill done for the day, so it wasn't too bad other than the heat. So 
So that's what we just came through. <laughs> uh, my ankle is definitely much better for the day and then the long afternoon yesterday helped. It's still a little a little tender but yeah, I think it'll be fine. I got a I was in Port Clinton, went to the GNC Got a multivitamin and also picked up a sports drink mix. It's supposed to be good for your joints and help the muscle recovery. I used to take when I was doing mountain biking, so I took some of that and a vitamin this morning. But I'm not going to say that that's what's made it better. I think the rest and then. Just my body getting used to what's going on. But the other stuff may have helped too. I don't know. It's not as hot as it was earlier. It's about 115. So I still have plenty of time. I got like, I don't know, seven miles to go. Probably have lunch at the pinnacle. And then we'll see how we're feeling tomorrow. There's a could be a 17 mile day. It's fairly flat. I don't know how many rocks are in the terrain tomorrow. It looks flat, no hill climb, so depending on how I feel, I may try to do that 17 miles. It'd be the longest day so far. But, uh, so far today's going pretty good. Best view in Pennsylvania. We're leaving the pinnacle. Nice views. And the trail is pretty rocky. Have five miles to go to the Eckville shelter. Nice. Well, it's ten minutes to four. So seven o'clock at the latest I'm guessing. Just depends on 
if the rocks stay like this or not. <laughs> Sat up there for a couple hours. Chit chatted with a through hiker from Georgia. Some other through hikers are going to sit up there on the rock tonight and watch the fireworks. Uh, that'd be pretty cool, but if I'd have hauled more water up there, I only left camp with a liter and a half. I probably got like three quarters of a liter left, so. Uh, oh, yeah. And I think this pretty much it for the views today. I'd say it's the best view in Pennsylvania. So. At least it was a clear day. The ankle was a little stiff when I first started out, but it's limber enough now, so. And then the rocks are dwindling. Maybe it'll stay like this too. So far, the trail from the Pinnacle's pretty much been like a service road. It's six o'clock. I stopped back at the spring, I guess about a mile and a half in south of here. We, uh, there's some other hikers there getting water. It was like right off the trail. I was talking about it being cold, so I'm gonna stop. Mix me up a lemonade. I think I got about another mile and a half to go to get to the Eckville shelter. So, as long as the terrain stays like this, which I do believe it does, uh, I should be there shortly. Seven o'clock or a little after. It was a little rocky coming down the hill, but not so bad at the moment. So that's not too bad, 10 miles in the course of less than seven hours and includes hanging out at the Pinnacle for an hour or so. I didn't really time it, so I don't know how long I was there. This shelter, Eckville, is supposed to have showers as well, but it may be like 501. And all that we turned off. So there's a little bit of a view. Kind of a free view on the side of the road. So that's the southbound we just came down. This is the north. You can really make up some time. And the terrain's like this. So we made it to the highway. This is the Eckville shelter is this way. East trail east. So uh, we should be there shortly. It's seven, no, six forty. So 
almost perfect, huh? 